just a little while ago in a mail bag, I, uh, I got, well, it was basically in the same bag, these two here. So this is a audio amplifier with a left and right channel input and output. And uh, this Bluetooth module that um, I'm assuming I can hook up to, uh, the whole system will hook up to a couple of speakers and provide some audio down here in the workshop. Uh, the first thing I think I might do though is I might not include the Bluetooth. I'll just uh, repurpose this old um, pair of uh, headphones. And this is, a, I've confirmed that this is a stereo input. Uh, so I'm going to cut the wires, plonk it into there, uh, connect up a couple of speakers and see if we can get some noise out of it. I'm a little curious to find out what wires we've got in here, so I'll, um, I'll clip that and let's have a look. And some wire strippers. So I'm looking for three wires and I've got four. Ooh. Okay. Well, left and right audio, I assume. And uh, the other one, I'm not sure. I uh, might have to go and do a little bit of research on that one before I start uh, snipping back those guys. Alright, so I couldn't find too much information about that. So I'm just going to make the assumption that I don't need that one. So I'm just going to go with left, right and ground. I've made up a, a fake JST connector here using a female header. So I'll plug that in there and uh, give it some juice and plug that into my soon to be blown up phone uh, and see how we go. Oh, okay, so we're getting sound, but um, only out of one channel. Let me uh, maybe change this around and see if I can get the other one up and running. All right, so I've swapped that around the other way, but I'm still getting only one channel. So I'm assuming that that red wire is important. Let's put that one in the mix. All right, that's both channels working. So yeah, red wire in, white wire out. Uh, I might get a proper JST connector and uh, I might look to put the Bluetooth in there now and see if we can run it from the phone via that. Yep, here we go. So interesting that the, this plug has got three zones, uh, but we've got four wires coming out. So it makes me think that maybe we've got uh, like two ground wires. So I'm just interested to check that with continuity. So what I'm going to do is let's just select the end of this plug. And then we can also have a look at this should be probably left or right. Yep, and nothing else on the others. No, and then this next one, if that was left, this one would be right. Yeah, that looks good. Given that it's a bit hard to maintain contact, but that's fine and all the rest. So that must mean that this is probably your ground. And that would mean that maybe this one is as well. It is. So that must mean there's two ground wires. How peculiar. Yeah. So um, I do have a little JST, which is a three pin uh, job. Let's just untangle that. Um, yeah, so what I might do is actually to the end here, um, I'll just snip those wires, I think, and I'll, I'll put both of those grounds uh, to the single ground on him. That should do it. Right, to the JST all wired up through to the phone. Let's hit a test for left and right. Warning, this video contains flashes and moving images. Okay. Yep, that is the left speaker. Uh, iPad probably isn't picking that up. And the, uh, the amp's doing okay. Right, so uh, just streaming uh, via the phone from the ABC. Hello, 
and um, so it's coming way. through fine on both channels. Like uh, I found out that if you lower so, the, I'm sorry, I'm the uh, let me just stop that. Here we go. Sorry, a bit distracting. Um, just found out that if you sort of lower the volume on, on the input here, uh, then and slightly higher on here, then it's a um, it's a much better. Um, yeah, a much better tone that comes through. So all up, actually uh, pretty good for down here in the workshop. So the next thing to do is get a 3D printed box for these two. And uh, I think we're good to go. That's the circuit working for this week. See you next time.